it's Chris and here's a simple project that you can use your 18 volt Ryobi battery with a low voltage 12 to 24 volt LED light. It's great for camping or when the power goes out. I noticed that uh, Ben and Chris posted a really nice design of a 18 volt light for the Ryobis where they 3D printed the whole socket and used uh, nickel strips. So I thought I would upload my design that uses the ceramic socket and the Ryobi replacement clip. These are the only parts that you need to make a simple light. You've got some 18 gauge wire, a ceramic socket, bulb socket, the 3D printed part which will be on Prusa or Thingiverse, a 12 volt LED light bulb, and the Ryobi replacement clip for the 18 volt batteries. Here's the Ryobi 18 volt adapter that I made to connect to a, a light bulb. So on this end it's got the 1 8 IP thread here so that the ceramic socket can connect, thread in. And on the other side, I've got the part where the standard Ryobi replacement clip can go in. I've loaded the part into the Perusa slicer. I'm using support on the build plate and I'm using Petchy. And I went with uh, the 0.2 quality setting instead of the speed setting because I wasn't quite sure how well the thread would do. It seems to work okay. Here I've removed the support. So this is just a ceramic light socket that you can get from the hardware store. And normally you would use it with a, uh, a 1 8 inch um, IP thread to mount to a lamp or something. I've 3D printed the 1 8 inch IP thread right into the model so then that the uh, other part will just screw right in. If you look closely on the battery you'll see that it's marked plus on the side. On these uh, Ryobi clips you can see that one side uh, has a little point that sticks out more than the other side. So on this on the right side here where I'm holding it that's the plus. So that clips on there. And the easiest way to get these things started is to just put the uh, adapter that I printed right over the part and push down. That gets it started and then you can push it in the rest of the way with your thumb. So you can see that I've pushed it in and the terminals come out of the top. So I'm just using these LED 12 volt lights that actually are tolerant up to 24 volts. And it's an E26 socket, sort of a standard old bulb socket. And what's important to note is that the tip here is the positive and the side is the negative. And when you put it into the socket here, you want to make sure that you have the right point. And on here, the, um, the brass screw is the positive. I've attached uh, three inches of 18 gauge wire. I've put some terminals on the end here and one way to it to assemble this is to feed the wires through the hole first and then clip them to the clip in the back and insert that fed the wire through the plus hole and then I'll attach the ter terminal clip at the back so I've got the wires attached this again make sure the plus goes to the right side I've pre-twisted the wires a little bit counterclockwise so when I screw it in clockwise they'll straighten out a little bit. Now it's socket screwed in. Now I've got to put the terminals in. Now I have the clip pushed in and the socket set. Then we're all done. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.